Hey guys, I'm hoping to head out spearfishing right now, but before I do, I'm gonna check the conditions, the wind, the water, the waves, and I'm gonna let you guys in sort of on how I go about doing that, so let's jump into it. So the first app that I check is Surfline. Surfline's an awesome site for surfers, but even for divers, it's very useful because they have some of the best quality data. I personally like just zooming into an area and then looking at the regional forecast. And that's the biggest tool that I use. It'll say like, oh, these are terrible conditions for surfing. But in fact, that's the opposite of what we want anyway. So we want bad surfing conditions for good diving conditions. After checking Surfline and sort of determining what area of the island I'm gonna go to, I'll check the webcams in that area, whether it's the south side, west side, or north shore, just to get an idea of what it's gonna be like on the ground. So the last tool I wanna show you is called Swell Info. Now, Swell Info is like a free version of Surfline. And as you can see for today, it's saying, bummer, no surf, go fishing, which is perfect for us. And one other feature I really like here on Swell Info is the ability to see the sort of the mapping. To see extended mapping on Surfline, you have to pay for the premium feature, whereas you can see all like the extended forecasting and stuff and mapping on Swell Info for free. I'd say these conditions are looking really good. So let's gear up and head out there. Welcome to the awesome blue show, yeah, you could never name a better place, you know, creatures you've never seen before, yeah, like, let's take a ride to where oceans flow, let's find a place where fish come out and play, follow my lead, we gon' spearfish, let's take a shot, we gon' live our life dangerous. There aren't any venomous snakes on land in Hawaii, and there really aren't any snakes that are native to Hawaii either. But this right here is a tiger snake moray. Although it's called a tiger snake, is technically an eel. And what's cool about this eel is it's the top predator of all the other eels. And it will attack another eel and swallow the eel totally and completely whole. The tiger snake moray is super secretive and usually you would only see these at nighttime. So I was super lucky to come across it here during the day. Searching deep down, got an underwater rifle. Right around town is a man named Michael. He's like the king of the ocean for real though. Everything about the blue seas, he got you, yeah. The ocean gives and sometimes it takes away. I've had a lot of stuff lost out here. Brand new GoPros, fins, all sorts of dive knives, everything. And today I got this sweet pair of virtually perfect condition polarized Ray-Bans. I was pumped. I read a story recently about a teenager in Massachusetts that found a rare penny in his lunch money that was worth over $1.6 million. And I found lots of coins while metal detecting and diving, but I've never found one as corroded as this one. And so I'm thinking it must be super old. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. This is what it looks like to approach one of the most notoriously hard hitting fish in the ocean. My shot was a bit high here in the fish, and knowing the power of a barracuda, I was worried about it tearing out. So I immediately signaled to my dive buddy Ricky here, you see my hand, take a backup shot as soon as you can to secure the fish. Barracudas are sometimes referred to as the silver bullet of the sea because they can strike without warning and they will go from being totally stationary to darting at a fish or a lure or like a diver even at speeds of up to 35 feet per second. A great barracuda, which this one is, can get up to six feet long and weigh over 100 pounds. I was super pumped about the Barracuda and next up I headed over to an area of the reef that had a bunch of these holes and tunnels.
These glowing red fish are Aveo Veo. Also in these holes were some red menpachi. My favorite amongst these though is the Aveo Veo because I find if they are present and sort of hanging out with the menpachi or without the menpachi, either way, I prefer them just because they have so many less bones than a menpachi does. The silverfish here are Hawaiian flagtail or a hole hole. If you're from the mainland, these are sort of similar to a perch. Neither of these fish are really all that hard to catch, I'd say. You know, something about getting a bunch of them though to pan fry and sort of steam up is super satisfying. Wow, look at the teeth on this, guys. I hope my camera picks up the crazy blue and green and almost gold color on the scales. After doing some quick online research on how to clean the penny, I decided to go with a salt and vinegar solution. This penny was super massively corroded, leading me to high hopes of maybe it being super old. Can you imagine if this thing turns out to be from like the early 1900s? So here's a close up of the final product. I think it's dated around 1978 or 1973 or something like that. It was old, but it's like nowhere near as old as I was hoping for considering all that corrosion. I think this is the aisle. All right, so I'm here at Walmart looking for a special ingredient to amp up the cook today. I know it should be right around here somewhere. Here we go. Let's see, what's the difference between a jam and a jelly? Maybe jam has seeds in it? I don't know. All right, let's go with the jelly. Hey guys, I was so excited to get this barracuda. In Hawaii, we call this a kaku. Um, this is a juvenile size, a really good size for eating because the huge ones can develop, you know, they're, because they're such a predatory fish, they can develop a, something called cigatera, cigatera poisoning, which is a, you know, accumulation of a toxin that develops on the reef from other fish that they eat and those fish that those fish eat and then eventually the fish that originally ate some sorts of algae or whatever it might be that they ate on the, on the seafloor. So anyways, these ones are a good size to eat and I've never actually caught one before. This is my first one. I've seen a number. I've tried to place a shot on a couple, but I've never actually caught one that was a good eating size like this one before. So I'm excited to, to, to cook this up. I don't really know how to cook it. So I remember a video from Darcizzle Offshore, Darcy and Brian, one of the most popular fishing YouTube channels out there. 
and they use grape jelly, which sounds sort of weird, but apparently it's like a long-standing thing. A lot of people use to cook their fish, maybe in, in Florida. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a tropical spin, a Hawaii spin with some guava jelly. So let's cook this thing up and see how it tastes. This is totally a uh, needlefish. All right, so first bite I'm going in here for the plain barracuda, uh, just with the salt. That's good. You know what? They taste like any other, you know, sort of, almost like a snapper. Um, tastes really good, good tasting meat. A uh, little bit firmer than, you know, something like opaka paka, almost like an ono, a wahoo, um, down there in Florida or Hawaii here. Um, actually the firmness is kind of really similar to that. All right, going in for the jelly version now. Uh, this should be good. I'm super excited to try this. Oh yeah, that's the way to go guys. I can totally see why they do this now. Man, that was so simple, so easy. Salt, jelly, you're done. It tastes so good. Like that's really, really good. I would do this again in the future for sure. Don't forget if you have never heard, I'm sure you've heard of them, but if you haven't heard of Darcy and Brian at Darcy's Love Shore, make sure you go check them out on YouTube. Um, one of the coolest, you know, fishing YouTube channels out there. So, hey, if you guys want to see more episodes of Awesome Blue, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you on the next one. Watching awesome blue, hit subscribe and thumbs up too. Exploring the ocean, swimming with sharks, shooting big fish, hit it right on the mark. Share, share with your friends, watch every video till the end. Our passion, spending time, finding different ways just to blow your mind. Are you ready? Let's go. Watch a video, let's play Chanel, how this awesome.